Oh, right, I got something actually out of right here in Canada over in the province of Quebec. I'm not in the province of Quebec, but it's right next to my province. But basically, the Illuminati Jesuit Pope Francis is doing, was basically there doing a pagan water ritual at this Catholic event or this Catholic ceremony or whatever. So, not surprising one bit, considering the fact that Roman Catholicism is not biblical Christianity whatsoever. Roman Catholicism is the ancient heathen religion of Greece and Rome mixed in with New Testament biblical Christianity, or what is called Christianity. That's simple. So, here's the article. It says on National Catholic Regist uh, Register, Pope Francis blesses the water pilgrims at Lac Saint Anne in Canada. Pope Francis uh, encouraged those in attendance to reach out with love to others and to accompany them in their need. Yeah, sure. Just what the uh, Jesuit Illuminati Pope Francis does best to you know, give this, this image of a likable type of person, when really, the Jesuits and the Illuminati are a bunch of wicked Satanists. So it says here, Pope Francis concluded his second full day in Canada with a visit to Lac Saint Anne, the site of one of Canada's most famous Catholic pilgrimages and a place of spiritual, spiritual significance for the nation's indigenous people. The Pope celebrated a liturgy, liturgy of the word at the shrine of Saint uh, Sartre Ant, or however we say it, Saint Anne with a crowd of mostly indigenous people in attendance, estimated around 10,000. The large, shallow, and muddy lake, about an hour's drive from Edmonton, has been reserved as a place of spiritual significance and healing for uh, and of healing for centuries, known as Wakamane, Lake of God, by the Nakta Sayaks, and the Lake of the Spirit by the Cree. By the Cree people, it, is rec it has received the name Lake Saint Anne from Father Jean Baptiste. Thilibault, the, the first priest to establish a permanent Catholic mission in Alberta in 1842. Yeah, call no man father in Matthew chapter 23 verse 9. You know, the title of, of father as a religious title belongs to God. He's called the Holy Father, John 17 verse 11. But the, the, the papists, they steal God's titles. But it says here, continuing on in the article, Before the liturgy, making the sign of the cross towards four cardinal points, according to the indigenous custom, the Pope blessed a, bo a bowl of the lake's water, which was brought up to a small wooden structure shaped like a teepee overlooking the lake. The Pope, after spending a moment in prayer sitting at the water's edge in his wheelchair, later sprinkled the, cr the crowds, uh, the, sort of the crowds, into th with the blessed water, basically. So, he's doing a pagan ritual with a Catholic ritual. Why? Well, because they're essentially the same thing. Roman Catholicism is perfectly tangible with this, this type of heathen practice. But it says here in the article, continuing on, so Pope Francis sits at the edge of Lac Saint Anne in prayer, Vatican Media, in his homily during the Liturgy of the Word. The Pope noted that much of Jesus' ministry took place by a lake, the Sea of Galilee, a place where various peoples, uh, uh, who them, as today, flock from different places. In a natural feature such as this, Jesus preached to everyone. Uh, God chose that richly diverse context to announce the to the world something revolutionary: turn the other cheek, love your enemies, love as brothers and sisters, live as brothers and sisters. So as, be, as to be the children of God, the Father who makes his sun shine on both the good and bad, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous, Matthew chapter 5, verse uh, 38 to 48. Uh, this lake, uh, with all its diversity, thus became the site of unprecedented proclamation of fraternity, not, not a revolution bringing death and injury in its wake, but a revolution of love. So, he talks all this nice talk, but really, you know, again, where's all this... Uh, to the Christians that his his cult his Romanist cult burned over this burn, burned at the stake over the centuries for holding a, holding a physical copy of God's word or rejecting the heresies of Romanism. You see, he'll do all this nice talk, but really, like I said, the Jesuits and the Illuminati they're a bunch of dirty Satanists behind closed doors, a bunch of pe uh, pedophiles and sex perverts, all that stuff. So it's a bunch of just charade. And it's funny because how he's doing this heathen ritual while uh, claiming it's Christian or putting a Christian context to it. Why? Well. Again, Roman Catholicism is Greco-Roman heathenism under the guise of New Testament Christianity. They're that simple. So, it's not surprising one bit. The Illuminati Pope Francis showing the kind of heathen roots of his Roman Catholic cult that it is. The Jesuit Illuminati Roman Catholic religion. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.